Hello everybody, I'm Jackie K. Cooper and my entertainment rundown for today is a double feature for you. We're going to have reviews of the movie The Secrets We Keep and also a movie called Kajillionaire. Now, Kajillionaire is not in your theaters yet. It will be within a week, I think. And also, The Secrets We Keep is already playing in theaters. So if you're out and into theaters, you get to see this on the big screen or you can find it you know, at other venues. The Secrets We Keep is about a, a couple uh, living in you know, a typical American city in the probably early to mid 50s of the past century. Uh, she is from Romania. Uh, he's a doctor. Uh, you know, they met, got married. They have a son. He runs a clinic now. She helps him operate the clinic. She orders supplies, etc., etc., etc. But one day, uh, the woman played by Numi Rapachi, I hope I got that name pronounced right, uh, is in the park with her son, and she hears a man whistling for his dog. And it's a distinct whistle that he does. You know, it's, it's not just, you know, that, that was a terrible whistle. But it's not just a regular, it's a very acute sounding whistle. And she, it perks her up because when she was in Romania, there were uh, some uh, German soldiers who tortured and abused the, and murdered in some instances uh, some of the Romanian people, the gypsies as they were called. And she had been involved in an incident like this, and the man who had abused her had had this whistle that he did. And so she, you know, it, it really jolts her because it takes her back to that time, some 10 or 15 years earlier when all of this occurred. And she can't get him out of her head. So she, she sees what kind of car he drives, and then she goes downtown one day and she sees him in a store and she follows him out and follows him home, finds out where he lives. And all of this is shown in the trailer for the film, so I'm, I'm setting it up. But she determines that he is the person who did abuse her and she is going to get revenge. Uh, what Maybe take his life, do, do whatever, but... That is the whole core of the movie, is that she seeks him out and she is determined that she is going to get revenge. And then you have her husband, who she confides in, who is like, no, 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 we'll go to the authorities, we'll do this, we'll do that. But no, she, she is on a one-woman mission uh, to get payback. And Nomi, Nomi Rapachi is very good in this role. She's, you know, you can accept the fact that, that she is the, a person who would, you know, this character who would, you know, become obsessed. Joel Kinnaman plays the man that she suspects of being the German uh, officer. And then Chris Messina plays her husband. And they're all three good. You know, one thing that bothered me about the film, you know, good versus the bad, is maybe it's because you know people just don't smoke that much anymore like they did in the 50s or whatever. These people in this movie smoke constantly, especially Numi Rapachi's you know character. She is almost lights one cigarette off the other, and it's like distracting that she smokes as much as she does. But this is a very intense film. It's you know it it holds your interest. Some things you know. Or go a little bit extreme in the film that you know take away from the believability of of all the incidents that happen, but it is rated R for profanity, brief nudity, and violence. But I scored it six out of ten. I thought it was above the level of of where you know the entertainment usually is in an average film. The, the acting style, the uniqueness of the story, that type of thing is, you know, lifts it up above average. I, I didn't get enough feeling for the characters to lift it higher than that. I, I think if, if maybe the, they had exerted a little bit more effort and gotten the storyline so you had more of an attachment to these characters, that it might have meant more to you, but it just doesn't follow through in that respect. But six out of 10, that's still above average. 
The next movie that I'm going to talk about is a film called The Kajillionaire. I never heard that term. I don't think that's there actually is a thing called a kajillion dollars, but that's the you know the most of the most of the most of the most. But this is a film I'd heard nothing about when I saw it, and I hadn't really even looked at the cast. It just came, and I thought, well, you know, I'll, I'll watch this. And it's about two con artists, uh, um, Richard. Let me get his name. Richard Jenkins, who is a great character actor. He plays the father, and an unrecognizable Deborah Winger plays the mother. I, I was halfway through the movie, and I thought, I thought Deborah Winger was in this movie, and then I realized the mother is Deborah Winger. You know, terms of endearment, Deborah Winger. You know. So, but she, she, I don't know, she just looks entirely different to me. Their daughter is played by Evan Rachel Wood from Westworld. Didn't recognize her either. I kept thinking, who is that girl? I've seen her somewhere. And then also in the film is Gina Rodriguez you know, from television fame. But it's about these con artists. They, they, they are just always working scams. And they use their daughter to do the bulk of the work. And you can see she's always trying to please them. She's trying to, you know, do the you know right thing by each and every one of them. But she can never satisfy them. They're always on to the next job. They, you know, I was surprised they put this in the movie. They, they win uh, airline tickets, three airline tickets to uh, Europe. And so they come up with a scam that... They, they need $1,500 for something. And so the tickets are free, so they fly as a, the husband and wife fly as a couple, and the daughter flies as somebody they don't know. And I don't know what that point was, but they go through all of that, and then they turn around and come right back, and then when they go to get the baggage, the couple take all the bags, and the daughter says her bag is missing. And so she had, you know, they put sent a, a claim for the value of, of her bag, which was around fifteen hundred dollars. It was insured, so it's a scam. You know, I hope people don't pick up on that and start scamming airlines. But that's the movie is one scam after another, and it goes on and on and on. So. It, it's interesting in that respect because you never know what these people are going to do because they don't have the the emotional you know fortitude that average people have. They will take advantage of anybody, including their own daughter. And it's a really strong performance by Evan Rachel Wood playing this girl who craves affection so intently, but she, you know she acts like you know she's completely insulated from life or or whatever. But that makes up the good part of the movie. Uh, some unexplained plot points make up the bad part of the movie. But still, it's interesting to see. It is rated R for profanity, and I scored it 6 out of 10. I think it's above average. So to, today I'm giving you two movies that are above average. So reach down there. Hit the subscribe button. You keep you informed on all the movies that are coming your way. There's some, you know, some new ones coming out every week. So you've got to just keep alert, Marlon, if you're a fan of the movies. But for today, this has been Jackie K. Cooper's Entertainment Rundown with a review of The Secrets We Keep and The Kajillionaires. <laughs>